For today's episode, we're going to talk about praying mantis and how to take care of them. This is my new little pet and I will show you everything you need to know to take good care of them. Yo, praying mantis is the best pet ever, okay? And here's a few reasons why. First of all, it's not like a gecko. It's very active during the day. So that means when you're supposed to be wake up, the praying mantis is also going to be awake and active. Another thing is they don't smell like a mice or uh, uh, mice, sorry, or mouse, for example. And also, you know, they, they don't need a lot of cleaning um, or care whatsoever. Now mine is a female and in this picture the female is the big one and the male is the small one. And we all know what happened to the male during reproduction. Most of the time the female, yes, will eat the male. Why? Two reasons. First reason is for the survival of the babies. For the female to have a successful pregnancy and laying her eggs uh, successfully, she pretty much just need a lot of meat in her belly. So most of the time that's the role of the male. The other reason is because if the male isn't satisfying enough for the female and rather slow, she can speed the process of reproduction by yeah, eating the heads first. Now that's not going to, well that's going to kill the male but that's not going to stop the reproduction. It's going to speed the process believe it or not because of the uh, very interesting nervous system of praying mantis. Now what do you feed your praying mantis both male or female? Pretty easy. You can feed them absolutely everything. As long as it's alive obviously. So let's say a grasshopper? Yeah. A cricket? Yeah. A butterfly? Yep. A dragonfly? Maybe, if the dragonfly is small and the praying mantis is big. Basically everything that moves is fair game. Now you don't want to give them any uh, ants or wasp because those are one of the few natural nemesis of the praying mantis. But apart from that, you have a lot of uh, pretty cool stuff you can give for them. Um, now how do they kill their prey? Well, you see those two front legs, this is how they do. They kind of are the care bearer of the insect kingdom. But instead of just hugging you and making you happy, they hug you with their legs full of spine, which will stab you to death. And then, if you're still alive, they're going to eat you slowly and but surely. So yeah, front legs full of spine, small but very efficient mouth, and that's it. No need for stingers, no needs for poison, they just grab you to death. Uh, now for a container, pretty easy. You see this mason jar? That could have been the um, home for a small praying mantis. But for a big one like this one, I do prefer to give them a cage. Now a fishbowl, believe it or not, is also a perfect solution as it is more than enough for a praying mantis. Now for the habitat, um, I would suggest put either a scat towel or a wet tissue on uh, the floor, that way the praying mantis do have access to water uh, without uh, drowning. And for decoration, just put some random stick and leaves in there and that's going to be more than enough for her to feel secure, look natural. and pretty much have stuff to climb on because that's what they do. They climb and they stay in the same spot for hours and hours and hours. Now Timmy, you will wonder, can I like put them in my hands? Well yeah, praying mantis are perfect for handling. Now I'm not sure how long mine will survive uh, simply because it's going to be winter soon and in Canada winter means death for the praying mantis because they just froze there. 
So maybe mine will survive only a few weeks, maybe a few months, maybe longer than that. But yeah, let's not be surprised if one day she just dies. I mean, I'm making her life be super longer. Uh, by helping her and sh I'm going to provide some uh, mealworm for her uh, main source of food now she has helped me do the video so make sure to subscribe like and comment also make sure to look at the video with your eyes open you see those little spot on the uh, praying mantis arms well those spot are supposed to look like eyes so they can intimidate their predators yeah, that's pretty weird. A leaf that tries to intimidate you by popping some eyes. Anyway, that's how the praying mantis do. Do you have name suggestion? And do you have cool story about praying mantis? Let me know in the comment section and I will read them. But for now, may the mantis be with you always. Bye!